Namaskar, my name is T.S. Sudhir and you are watching Study with Sudhir, your digital classroom. Now the exams for ICSC class 10 that were to be held between the 19th and the 30th of March 2020 were postponed as were exams for the ISC class 12, both because of the coronavirus pandemic. We all know all these details, don't we? Now on the 1st of April, exactly a month ago, the Council for the Indian School Certificate Examination that conducts both the ICSC and the ISC examinations spoke about this examination that were postponed. They posted a note on their website that also was prompted or shall I say compelled by a fake timetable that was doing the rounds. It had been posted by some mischief makers as an April Fool's joke. So given the confusion that it created, the council was forced to put out a clarification. Okay, the problem is that that was the last time the council spoke about the examinations. It put out some other notices subsequently on its website but none of them relating to the postponed examinations. There has been absolute radio silence from the council. The students are obviously worried whether they should continue to study for the pending subject papers like geography, like biology, the optional subjects like physical education, economics, computer applications, a regional subject like Hindi or whether they should start focusing on their 11th class syllabus. Hmm? The momentum has clearly been lost and I'm sure even the council will agree with that. And there is very little interest in going on revising geography and biology and economics many times over. Right? Now, as part of my journalistic career, I have done several workshops with police officers, with forest service officers, with senior officials in public sector companies, corporations on how communication holds the key especially in crisis situations. Today the country is going through a major health crisis and not just India, the entire world. Among other sectors obviously the education timetable has also gone for a toss and this is not peculiar only to ICSC. It also concerns the CBSE, the NEET timetable, the IIT JE timetable, universities, degree colleges, everyone. No one is obviously holding the council out here as responsible for the situation. But the least it should do and the least that it's expected to do is to communicate with the stakeholders. And who are the stakeholders? The stakeholders are the students, a little less than 3 lakh students in both class 10 and class 12 and their parents. I think they have a right to know what the council is thinking at this point in time. And what are the questions that the students and the parents are asking? They are obviously asking will the exams take place. If the council does not know about it, they need to just come out and say we are evaluating the situation. We all understand, we all consume different forms of media. We do understand that there are still about 130 districts in the country which have been classified as red zones. There are a large number of them in the orange zone and a significant number in the green zones. We do understand un un that unless the entire country, since it's an Indian school certificate examination, that unless and until the entire country is in the clear, these exams cannot be held. We do understand that. But it's important for the council also to speak its mind on it on this kind of an issue to the stakeholders because they want to know if the exams will take place, will they take place in June like the HRD minister has indicated in the case of NEET and IIT JEE, presuming that by the end of May things will get a little better in uh, all of India. And what is the position on the evaluation of the answer scripts in the case of examinations which have already been conducted, right? What will happen to academic year 2020-21 and that's a major concern among students and parents. Whether the syllabus will be reduced and more importantly what happens to those students who want to change their school or who want to change their school, their board from an ICSC board to a CBSC board school or a state board school. How will that, how will they be evaluated, how will that admission process take place. Till now there have been no official answers provided to any of these questions by the council. Now look at the CBSE in comparison. Its secretary Anurag Tripathi has been on television, Hindi channels, English channels on a variety of uh, occasions basically addressing these questions. He has basically said that as far as CBSE class 12 students are concerned, the exams will take place. So at least there is a sense of direction that class 12 students need to be prepared and also that they will be given 10 days notice before the exams begin. 
so that that is definite information that has been provided by the cbse nothing of the sort has come from the icsc which is why it has led to confusion because everyone believes that the cbse cancelled its class 10 examination prompting many others to ask why can't the icsc do the same with its class 10 examination the difference is actually quite big because in the case of cbsc there was only one exam on the 20th of march that is the computer applications exam that was pending that's not the case with icsc that had at least 3 to 4 examinations still pending between the 19th and the 30th of march so there is a difference between the cbsc and the icsc but because the council has not come out and spoken about it students continue to make that kind of a comparison and that kind of a demand so the council really would do well and i request it to kind of break its silence because this kind of a silence of the council is really not good it needs to state its position with whatever information it knows to basically calm the hearts and minds of its stakeholders i think it is its responsibility to do so i think it needs to do so at the earliest one month is just too long a time to stay silent thank you very much for watching i hope the council pays heed to this request and does put out a statement stating what its position on the pending examinations and the other questions pertaining to the academic year 2021 are thank you very much for watching